YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer here. Welcome back, and also welcome to, I guess, a new series of Starters Order 7. I haven't played this game in I don't know how long. I don't even remember the last time I actually uploaded a video. I'm pretty sure it's been well over a year. People have been asking me to play this game, and from a managerial perspective, I'm not really uh, into the game in that regards right now. Maybe later down the line I will. But we're actually going to start a betting uh career mode in this game which means we are just exclusively betting on horses in these races um and we can kind of follow certain horses certain uh trainers jockeys uh, through their career so that is kind of how i want to play the game right now and like i said maybe at some later point i may get back into playing it uh, from a managerial perspective but I, I still prefer horse racing managers one and two uh, for that um, so it wants us to include uh, these legendary horses now some of these I have heard of some of them I have not um, especially the horses from the UK I'm not really familiar with most of them I'm familiar with black like, caviar desert um, orchid uh, Sabarak. Uh, some of these horses I do recall but not all of them anyways uh, we will include all the legendary horses um so yeah let's go ahead and get into it um i think if it allows us to include all the legendary horses which uh yeah okay cool so we will be starting a new game as always appreciate you guys love and support on the channel and uh yeah I i'm i guess i'm looking forward to actually playing this game from just a betting perspective because like i said it's still a pretty um uh, amazing looking uh, horse racing game um and the fact that obviously it has all the real races um most of the tracks here in north america um it, it it's very realistic in that per in that sense compared to obviously other horse racing series and games with actual gameplay there are some games that um obviously on mobile have the real races uh tracks and everything but there's like no gameplay to watch it's pretty much just a text-based game and uh, for me that's not exciting I'm sure maybe some people enjoy that but I think most of us on this channel prefer to actually see what's happening in an animation and game like video game like format and that is why I like this game uh, when it comes to having the realism of the real tracks and uh, races feature races premiere races as well as being able to actually watch those horses compete in an actual animation format and it's a still a pretty solid animation format so yeah uh we'll see what happens here with this game or with this career mode and how far we can go like i said i haven't played in a long time so i'm sure i may not be the best but we're just betting so we'll, we'll see if we can obviously get a winner and do some exotics and all of that especially for people that i guess aren't too familiar um with it and we'll kind of just go on this journey together and we'll see how far we can take it so um here we have three hundred and forty thousand dollars to wager uh no name farm and because this is just strictly a betting mode i'm very curious as to how the horses and ownership goes because again i i shouldn't be allowed to train or do anything this should purely just be betting um but this is still kind of new for me uh, this game is great but it's also it, it can also be quite intimidating because there's so much on essentially every tab you click on um so it's definitely not for i, I would say uh, it, it's not for a beginner I, I would say you definitely definitely have to know uh your stuff and it can be, like I said, very intimidating for people that aren't too familiar about the in, in and outs of horse racing. And I wouldn't even say I know everything to the extent that I should. There's still quite a bit I am still kind of uh, learning just because I've always been a pretty casual fan, um, to say the least. Um, so, yeah, this is um, this is still pretty much the same as far as the menu is concerned in comparison to actually playing the game. And you have your jockeys here. Um, I don't know if some of these jockeys are real. So I'm trying to see if I recognize any names. And I don't really recognize any of these guys. Unfortunately. Just trying to see if there's any jockeys I do re uh, recognize. I thought that said Luis Saez, but it did not. How unfortunate. Um. So yeah, I mean, there, there's a lot here, as you can see. Number one horse currently in North America is Tomino's a six-year-old 
Uh, six year olds. I'm looking for. Or no, I can't see it. I swear, sometimes the menu is so confusing to me. I, I still find myself having to actually really read everything. Um, yeah. Bay 5 is the color of this horse, which is also very cool. The breeding I, I would like to get into at some point. And uh, I'm actually going to surprise. They don't actually show... What is Tamino? They're not telling me what his classification is. I'm just kind of curious. Um, yeah, that's, that's really weird. Because right here, I was trying to see if, um, unless I'm looking right past it, I was trying to see if he was a gelding or just a stallion um, or, you know, a cult and... They don't, uh, it's supposed to say, but I don't see anything here. Like, obviously here for Casper Shadow, three-year-old Colt. Um, Wizard King right here, five-year-old Gelding. Um, there's nothing for Tamino. I would assume that means he's a stallion because I don't see any S's. I just see C's for Colts. Obviously, I'm for Mare here, Daring Aim, ten-year-old Mare. Two-year-old Philly um, here in Angel Sprints and La Rapelli, probably mispronounced that but yeah i'm assuming if there's no letter to it then it's probably a stallion um so anyways let's go ahead and see if we can actually get into you know doing a uh i mean betting in a race which is the whole point of this playthrough um just trying to think uh where we'd probably go to that do we just go to a random race can we just choose where we want to go uh, this is still relatively new to me as far as the betting aspect is concerned. So I'm not 100% sure where we go, but I guess I'll figure that out sooner rather than later. Go to the race course. Well, I guess we should just go. So we are here in Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York. Um, I don't see how many. Can we see how many races are on the card? View detail for the. Uh, so this is a very detailed race card. Like I said, it's very realistic. I think this is probably the most realistic horse racing game to date um, as far as everything you can do the forms uh, everything under those circumstances are, are pretty spot on and like I said you still get to watch gameplay so um I was trying to view other races as well but I guess we really can't um, so yeah you can do we can watch the race at the betting shop you can watch the race at the actual race course itself you have advanced betting. Um, and stuff. And so we're going to go ahead and make our first bet. So it's a field of 11. You can view the horse data here. Um, this is Zagaleta. Zagaleta. And it never shows the actual gender, I think, of the horse when you're looking at them in here, which is odd um i do not understand that it shows you pretty much everything else as far as their distances whether or not they have any group one to group three wins their ratings their builds but it doesn't actually show you their gender in here regardless we can see it i guess right here so like i said field of 11 it is a mix of four-year-olds well four-year-olds and up i should say on the dirt going one mile and uh, yeah, the favorite is the two horse, Zagaleta, apparently. She's going off at two to one, almost at even money. So she won't pay much if she does win. So I'm um, looking at last winning rating and handicap conditions um, and the horse's current rating, I should say. So last w winning rating for uh, Zagaleta was 75 and her current rating is 77 so she does appear to be spot on but we're gonna go ahead and kind of try to look for a, uh, a horse that may not be getting heavy heavy money so these are the current odds over here I want to look for somebody a little bit higher at least at 10 to 1 yes it's true the eight horse currently projected to finish seventh um, six-year-old Stallion, I would assume. Trujillo will be the saddle for that one. 
The ratings aren't too great though, but maybe I could try to play that horse to show. That's probably what I'll end up doing. So we are going to bet. So there's only wins. Are there any other bets we can choose or no? Payouts? Can I look at payouts? No. EW. I don't even know what that is. So there is max. This is still kind of a, uh, this is interesting. So that's the clear payouts. I won't say stakes. So you still have to click on your horse and decide what you want to do. Place the maximum each way bet on this horse. I, I don't know what that means. Because we have $340,000, we're going to do something ridiculous that I wish I could actually do. If I had this much, we're going to bet $1,000 for this horse to show. But all that I see here is win and then EW. I, I've never seen EW for betting. We placed, um, I placed, f wait, I did what? What did I do? It said I placed 4,400. So we started off with $340,000. Now we're down to 335,000, which means I bet, um, four grand. I bet four grand and our bet, which I can't even see, which is weird. Um, yeah, I'm surprised you can't actually look at your bet once you've placed it. That's a little weird. Uh, well, I can look on this screen. So I bet $4,400 for, yes, it's true to show. Can anybody tell me what EW means? I still don't know. Now, as far as advanced betting, I would like to do some exotic wagers, but I'm not seeing anything for that. There's a max win, there's a max show. And yeah, I'm not seeing anything for exotics. And I'm not sure if you can even do exotic wagering in here. That would be nice if you could. Um, I'll try in the next race. So let's actually go ahead and get ready to watch this race. Yes, it's true. The eight horse. That is who we're pulling for. I'm going off at eight to one now based off of uh, the money we've put on. Zagaleta is now up in money as well. She's going off at nine to four. So much better than the two to one. Let's go ahead and watch this race. Let's go ahead and watch this race and see what happens. And uh, like I said, we're just kind of getting used to it. Uh, I don't have an exact goal yet, but we will figure a goal out, like I said, once we see how this betting uh, works. All right. So here we are, Field of 11. Zegalita is still the favorite, going off at 9 to 4. Yes, it's true, down to 8 to 1, mainly because we probably put $4,400 on that horse. So no telling whether or not we're going to get what we want. We'll go ahead and just watch the race from this angle, maybe try to get a better zoom. And I forgot about the commentary here, which is quite loud. So I'm going to turn this down, actually, because nobody needs to hear that. It's nice that they have it in this game. Uh, don't get me wrong. So, yes, it's true. The seven horse and the white silks. Here is our horse right here on the outside. Sitting uh, sixth currently, or seventh, I should say. Zagaleta is up here at the front. Jockey with the pink cap, blue silks. So, they are running about 32 miles an hour, five furlongs to go. It is still acclimatory in the lead. Zagaleta right there on the inside of the rail in second. Tigua on the outside in third. Looks like they're trying to make a run here. Novelist in fourth. Red Avalanche in fifth on the outside. Trying to go three wide. Tailing off a little bit. Yes, it's true. Now moving on the outside. This is who we bet on. White silks, pink cap. Jockey brings the horse back inside. 3.3 furlongs to go as we approach a final stretch. It is still acclimatory in front. Zagalades are the favorite. Still tucked in there on the inside. Here comes a run from Yes, It's True. That's the horse we bet on. It just needs to come in third. We placed a show bet, but the rest of the field is coming. Yes, It's True is going backwards and is about to be out of sight. And yeah, Yes, It's True. It's out of sight. Acclimatory pulling away and a huge run on the outside from the six horse. That is Quali Qualinas. Qualinas making a late run. Acclimatory furlong left to go. Still rolling in there. Zagaleta now trying to have a late surge. He's going to try to catch Acclimatory at the wire. This is going to be close. Zagaleta, three horses almost at the wire. Zagaleta, no. Qualinas, the six horse, is going to get up there in time with a late surge. Zagaleta was trying to bounce back. What an exciting race. Our horse did not come anywhere near third place. But the six horse Quilinas ends up getting up there. The favorite Zagaleta comes in second. 16 to 1 for Quilinas. She is going to pay nice. Zagaleta ended up coming up in second. And then Acclimatory with a nice solid run in third. Just gassed out at the end. 
That was a pretty exciting race. We didn't win diddly a squat, but that's a good win. 16 to 1. That would have paid nicely. And you can do multiple bets. Or is that just multiple bets you can place in a race, I guess I should say. So, yeah, we didn't win anything for that. Um, which it's okay. But we're here at another race in Virginia. We're going to... Now, it says click to advance betting. And I don't really know what that does. It just something changes. I don't think we can actually do exotic bets in here, unfortunately. So we're going to go ahead and do one more for this video. Um, this is a field of seven going five furlongs. Three-year-olds and up. Only one... I can't tell what letter that is at all. I think it's a I think it's C for Colt, and then the rest of the field is uh, mares and two fillies. So we have four mares, I believe, two fillies, and one Colt going five for as long as the favorite is. Uh, who is the current favorite? The current favorite is Ballerina. We actually have two favorites: Ballerina and Sosumi. Both of those gals are the favorites likable land or likable lad excuse me the only colt in this race sitting there at 13 to 1. handicap race looking at previous form let's actually go ahead and look in a little bit more detail um just to kind of see what we got here so yeah i mean these form books are really 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 detailed i mean really detailed i, I think anybody that is really into horse racing uh, to that extent would probably really enjoy this and i uh, keep in mind I, I got this off of steam uh, as well or i think you can get it off of steam i actually don't recall if i got it off of steam myself so you can look at the uh the rest of the horses in this field you see all the other races uh, we're gonna go ahead and go back i was just trying to see if there's anything that would give me a better uh a better idea of who to really wager on because i feel like this is kind of an open race except for these last two at the bottom Albaid and Farja, 40 to 1 and 66 to 1. They're probably not looking too hot. Ratings are also 33. So they are definitely not um, with this class. This class is a 0 to 65. So um, I don't know who to really. Uh, I might go ahead and uh, let's say Glenarf going off at 7 to 1. Morning line odds was 13 to 2. It's not great, but 7 to 1 isn't too bad. We'll probably go ahead and, uh, it's a short field of seven. We'll do two wagers. I'll do a win bet probably on uh, Glenarf. I think I'll do a win bet on Glenarf, the three-year-old filly. So where is she at? Glenarf. We're going to go ahead and uh, just play a 1,000 for her to win. And now that does change her odds. That actually puts her up at 13 to 2. So didn't really help her case out too much and uh, I think when you click on click to advance betting I'm not sure if it just cycles through a a randomized timer that shows how the odds update and then once you get through it to the end you see their final odds so now that I've clicked through it all the way here are the final odds um, for this race so Sosumi uh, is the favorite here going off at three to one Glenarf, who we placed our win bet on is going off at five to one so much better likable lad still sitting in there at six to one ballerina six to one and my dream castle six to one nifumi is nine to one so really outside of the last two long shots at 40 to one this field is it's very competitive but uh four horses do have handicaps which is nifumi and my dream castle so we're gonna go ahead and bet on likable lad and I'm going to go ahead and place 3,000 on him to show because, well, <laughs> we can. So now we have two bets. We have win bet on Glenarf, and I bet another show bet on Glenarf. I, I, I didn't mean to do that, but I guess if uh, I guess we kind of covered our basis, but I didn't. I wanted to bet on likable lad. That's what I thought I did. You know what? Because we have so much money, we can kind of just do whatever. I'm going to place 5,000 on uh, Likeable Lad to show. Place the maximum straight forecast bet on this horse. I have no idea what that means, to be honest with you. Now, can I bet on multiple horses? Can you do multiple wagers? Um, 
You cannot, unfortunately. Yeah, I wish you could still do like um, exot multiple exotic wagers. You can't. So we have three bets in this race. Everything is showing no. I, I did not bet on Glenarf again. <laughs> Why does it keep showing Glenarf? It just had me do the same bet twice. I mean, if Glenarf wins, we'll be making out pretty nice. But likable lad, this is who I'm trying to bet on, and they're not enabling me to do so. Um. Okay, now I have two horses selected. I'm so confused. So you can do exotics. So. Okay, so you can only do two horses for, I guess, what's considered an exotic bet. But place the maximum straight forecast bet. I, I don't know what a straight forecast bet is or a reverse forecast. That is unfamiliar betting terminology to me. So, again, I would like to place a bet on Likeable Lad. Let's do, you know, 4,000. Will this actually work, please? Likeable Lad is selected. This should work. And it works now. So I guess I was unintentionally choosing other horses. So essentially we want Glenarf to finish anywhere in the top three. We're going to win money. And or Likeable Lad. Both of those horses finish in the top three. We're making out nice. So this is going to be the last video or the last uh, race we're going to watch of this video. It's a field of bait. Only going five for a long. So it's going to be really quick. And uh, like I said, we'll see what happens as we continue to move forward. All right. So the favorite is the favorite should still be Glen, uh, Glenarf, if I'm not mistaken. Going off at four to one, likable lad at eleven to two. Not bad. Six to one for ballerina. Is she the favorite? She is not. Okay, here we go. Interesting camera angle. Can we switch this, please? I, I, I don't like this. There we go. I'm just trying to zoom in here. Not the camera angle I wanted. That's not the camera angle I wanted either. It still sometimes takes a little bit of getting used to. All right, there we go. Much better. So... Abade is in the lead. Two and a half furlongs left to go. Down the stretch they come. Likeable Lad. That's the horse we bet on on the inside. Glenarf sitting back. Uh, the only gray here in this race. That is Glenarf. And Likeable Lad is taking off here looking pretty well, if I must say so. We're going to go ahead and look to Likeable Lad. And now we have the six horse and the five. We have multiple challengers here. Will Likeable Lad be able to hold them off? 0.7 furlongs to go. Either way. We are going to still get some show money for Likeable Lad. Can he bounce back and take the lead? No. Looks like My Dream Castles is going to get the win. Likeable Lad comes second. And Glenarf, last place. Really, really surprising show out for uh, Glenarf. Considering I put all of that money on Glenarf. But Likeable Lad does come in second at 11-2. to two. And the gray, Glenarf, comes in last place. That is pretty disappointing on behalf of her. So as you can see... Uh, stakes has returned us thirteen thousand. Well, thirteen thousand dollars is the total that we bet. Our return was ninety two hundred. Glenarf, uh, we essentially lost what nine k betting on her because she didn't win anything. So yeah, we lost nine k betting on Glenarf, but we did end up winning fifty two hundred dollars back from Likeable Lad. And um, yeah, totals for this meeting, like I said, stakes were thirteen thousand, and we bet. Uh, completely. Is that math right? Yeah, I guess it's about right. Returns was 9,200. Yeah. So, that goes to show you. Just, um, wow. Yeah, that actually, uh, that kind of worked. Kind of didn't, but, you know, Likeable Lad did go in there. So, we got some of our money back, <laughs> at least got some of our money back today's results as you can see that is what has happened uh, so far so what we're gonna do actually we're gonna skip to the end of today's racing and uh, yeah that is how betting essentially works in this game and even if you're looking at these different races I mean we are not obviously in a position to you know put anybody into a race because we are strictly playing this from a betting perspective so again i'm not sure how long uh i will carry this on this is still fun 
I guess I really kind of need to find courses and a track that we just follow consistently and some of the bigger races. Um, like I said, it's, just, it's so much in this game. It, it's, it's sometimes overwhelming. It's so many things you can look at. And I don't always think that's necessarily good. I think a game should include plenty of options, but I don't think there should be so much on one screen for you to look at. Sometimes for me, that's a little overwhelming just when there's so much and I just kind of want to explore everything. And it's like you have to kind of pick and choose uh, what you want to do. Since I have staff and everything, this is this is so confusing. I mean, this is purely a betting mode, but it's like I have staff and like staff for what? We're literally just betting on horses. Um, and we can upgrade facilities and everything. I, I'm, I'm very, very, very confused. But I'm going to go ahead and save and quit here and just look to see what happens when I go to launch the game. Um, punter. Yeah, it says punter, but we're still in a position where we can actually manage. That's confusing. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's Starters Order episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Let me know what you think. And if you want me to continue this series for a couple more episodes or even longer than that. Like I said, I'm not going to be playing this game from the managerial perspective. It's still a lot I need to learn, a lot I want to learn. And until I do that, I'm not... Uh, I don't want to play this game in, in that way. Uh, like I said, I'm still completely fine. Horse Racing Manager and Gallup Racer for those. Um, so I just want to play this from a, uh, a, a, a betting perspective and just kind of see how much we can enjoy that. Appreciate you guys' love and support on the channel as always. So until next time, though, Horse Racing Gamers, signing out. Hope you all have a great, fantastic day. See ya and goodbye.